guys, it's a short video. I'm going to do unboxing of this hinge dock for 13 inch MacBook Pro Retina. That's my laptop and that's my Wacom Cintiq. As you may know, it just kind of sticks it in the dock. That's what you get. Uh, that's the dock. And I guess this is the instruction book. So we'll give that a read. You get some clip things, which I don't know what they are yet. Because I take my laptop out fairly often, go to coffee shops and work. There's a few plugs to plug in every time I want to use my Wacom Cintiq again. Kind of yeah, properly. You get I get those little clip things with connectors for the type of power. And Thunderbolt installation guide. Product care. So for troubleshooting. Blah blah blah. So I'm gonna take this thing out the box. I guess. Now I believe the screw to tighten things is at the bottom here, which it is. And this is the cable management. This thing's pretty heavy, heavier than I thought actually. It's got a good weight to it. Which is going to be nice when you're taking the laptop out. Just so it's, it doesn't kind of come with the laptop, I would imagine. It's got a good weight. Yeah, it feels like it's built pretty solidly. And then that's the kind of Allen key thing to tighten the power cable. Kind of Allen key thing out the bottom of the dock. Oops. So I took the cables out and I guess I've got to put the power cable in here first and then bring all the cables neatly out through here. Okay, so check it out. This is a mini display port like that. It's going to be Impossible to do with one hand, but that plugs in there. Fed the cable through here, tighten that guy. This is this is to tighten the MagSafe connector in place with the adapter. And I should be able to stick it back pretty nicely. Well, I guess that's in. That's cool. So. Uh, Plugged it in, unfortunately not working yet. I suspect it's either because the power cable is not connecting properly. Oh, look at this mess here, good grief. Oh, there's an issue with... So I managed to get it working. It's a little bit finicky. But so far so good. Uh, the problem was... Um, I don't know, I guess, I think one of the connectors that went into the mini display port for the Wacom Cintiq wasn't connecting correctly because the, the power was on. I've still got to sort out this mess here. I pulled it out. Let's see if it works if I stick it back. As you can see, everything's lined up there. If I want audio, it comes with this little thing here. So I can plug my headphones in or speakers or something. So I've done some work on the setup. I've drilled a bigger hole here. And put one of these 
organizer things in. So that's a bit neat to know. At least there's no like wires coming down the back of the desk. The hardware shop and then bought a plank of wood to make a shelf here. Uh, there's so many wires, it's really like messy. So at least I got a way to keep it fairly organized under here. So let me show you what I ended up with. Um, this is kind of, this is my setup at the moment. I added a sliding drawer for two keyboards. All the cables are under there in that shelf. And just to kind of keep things neat here. So I've had, I've uh, been using this hinge dock for about, I don't know, a month now and it really is great i've got it set up i bought an extra power adapter so i don't have to keep taking that one out when i travel i pop it in it works been working really well um it just kind of neatens things up quite a lot ease of use is super so well worth the purchase um i give it a nine Eight and let's say nine out of ten. Yeah, it really is easy to use and it kind of works every time I put it in now. Um, a little bit of fiddling up front to get it registering right, and um, but every time I stick it in, it works. I've had no issues with that. So cool. Hope this was helpful to you. Thanks for watching and uh, remember to subscribe for more videos.